In this video, we'll be taking a look at 5 fascinating facts regarding the Hermit of the Swamp that is the Almadron, one of the newly introduced leviathans within Monster Hunter Rise. Hey everyone, Kornopinoy X here once again, back with another video, and welcome back to another exciting episode of 5 facts about the monsters introduced within Monster Hunter Rise where we explore 5 fascinating pieces of information regarding the newly introduced monsters within this title that you might not know about. Previously, we took a look at one of the newly introduced fang beasts within this title, the Limber Reaper, known as the Goss Harag. If you would like to check out that episode as well as all other previous episodes within this series, I've gone ahead and put a link of the entire playlist in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out at your own leisure. Today, we'll be exploring one of the newly introduced leviathans within Monster Hunter Rise, the Hermit of the Swamp, known as the Almadron. We'll be taking a look at 5 pieces of information regarding the Almadron that covers the lore, ecology, and anatomy of this monster. Here are 5 facts about the Almadron, the Hermit of the Swamp, one of the newly introduced leviathans within Monster Hunter Rise. Despite the monster's aggressive behavior, Almadrons don't normally cause trouble for many people, as the species is considered a solitary individual, preferring to live in mountainous regions away from other creatures unless the monster is hunting down prey. This is why the Almadron is known to many as the Hermit of the Swamp, as they prefer to live in solitude and would normally live in areas secluded from the presence of humanity or other monsters. However, possibly due to the influence of the Rampage, these Leviathans began to migrate to areas that are inhabited by other creatures, an unusual behavior according to Fugen as this isn't the behavior that was originally observed regarding these particular monsters. Almadrons are ambush predators, patiently waiting for their next meal by hiding themselves underneath the earth. Once their prey approaches, they smother them with mud and debris. To detect oncoming prey or adversary, the Almadrons have adapted their whiskers to function as vibration detectors, allowing them to detect oncoming creatures in a manner similar to seismic sense. As the Almadron ages, their whiskers grow longer, meaning their level of detection advances with the length of their whiskers, allowing for advanced methods of ambush against any creatures they might come up against. The Almadron's overall anatomy is designed for manipulating the land it lives in. The mucus, which the monster secretes from its tail, dissolves the earth around it, thus giving the monster its muddy capabilities. However, for the Almadron to properly swim underneath the earth with little restriction, the monsters have adapted their claws to tear through any solid objects with little effort, allowing it to swim through the earth as if it were water. With the combination of its mucus, its claws, and its own swimming abilities, an Almadron is designed as a unique leviathan that treats solid land as watery terrain, meaning the Almadron is one of the few leviathans out there designed to swim through land. The Almadron's mastery over mud and earth give it a high level of control over the density of the mud it creates, allowing the monster to generate large mud pillars and even a giant mud ball to weaponize against both monsters and hunters alike. The ability to control the density of mud is highly inspired by the Japanese art form known as Dorodango, the art of polishing mud into dense spheres, the shape of a dango. The Almadron's mud ball is heavily inspired by this unique art form, with the monster capable of creating such a unique piece of mudcraft by utilizing its golden mucus. Thanks to the properties of the golden mucus allowing the monster to both dissolve and harden mud in varying levels, smithies across the world of Monster Hunter covet these golden mucus for their properties which are deemed miraculous by most blacksmiths. Finally, let's explore the etymology behind the monster's name. We'll be exploring both the Japanese and the English name for the monster as they have the exact same meanings in both languages. The English name for the monster is easy to understand. 
Almadron is literally the words all, mud, and the phrase ron acting as a suffix to complete the name. So its etymology is all mud, revolving around the abilities of the monster. Its Japanese name, Oromidoro, has the exact same meaning, with Oro being a direct transliteration of the word all in Japanese and Doro being the Japanese word for mud. So in both Japanese and the English localization, this monster's etymology is literally all mud, once again focusing on the overall capabilities of the Almadrum to manipulate and weaponize mud. And that, everyone, is 5 facts about the Almadron, the Hermit of the Swamp, one of the newly introduced leviathans within Monster Hunter Rise that covers the lore, ecology, and anatomy of the monster as well as any other information in between. Hopefully you have found this video fascinating in learning more about the Almadron outside of combat against the monster. What do you think about the Almadron within Monster Hunter Rise? Let us know in the comments below your overall thoughts and opinions regarding this new leviathan within this title. Now with all of that being said, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider hitting the like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any future Monster Hunter content that I might be doing or any other games that I might be playing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, onward and upward.